Hi guys, welcome back to ABLC Studio and in today's video I will show you how to crochet the cat ear beanie. If you are a beginner or someone who've never crocheted before, this video is definitely for you because I will show you everything from how to hold a work yarn to how to weave the tails in. I actually published a cat ear beanie tutorial before but over time I feel like it could be so much better so here it is, the fill proof tutorial. The hat will look like a square beanie like this and when you put it on your head the ear will stick out and form like so you can adjust it the way you want it to be cat you can make them into little horns like so Now let's move on to the most important part of the tutorial, tools and materials. For this project, I recommend using Aran Yarn category number 4 with the 5.5mm crochet hook. I have two colors of yarn here because I will show you how to make a striped beanie. But if you want a plain one color hat, then you just need one color of yarn. We're gonna need the piece of yarn that we got from measuring the head, scissors and your needle. So the first thing we need to do is to take the measurement of ours or anyone's head that we are making this beanie for. And you will need the same yarn that you use for the beanie and a pair of scissors. Then you want to pinch the end of the yarn with one hand like so. Then put it around your head over the ears and put it together right in front of your forehead like so. Then you take the scissors and cut it. There is the piece of yarn of the measurement. We're gonna start with a number of chains and to make chain first you need a slip knot. You're gonna hold the yarn like this. That's how you hold the working yarn. And then with the crochet hook you want to do this and then this to create like a loop like so. And then you want to pinch here to keep that loop with this working yarn you want to yarn over like so and then pull that yarn over loop through this loop okay like so and then you pull on the tail to close the knot up the point of the slip knot is for this loop to be adjustable with this working yarn not this tail okay so you can adjust the size of the loop by pulling on the working yarn you will see in the written pattern that we will need the foundation chain to be a little bit looser and not too tight. So you don't want the loop on the hook to be too tight like this, okay? You want to pull it a little bigger, like so. You see you have a nice space between the hook and this knot, okay? And then for chain, you simply yarn over with a working yarn and then pull through the loop. And that is the very first chain. Now repeat for the second one. Make sure that the loop is not too tight, like so, yarn over and pull through, okay? The second one. And then the third one, yarn over, pull through, and then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through, okay? okay? Now I want you to take the piece of yarn that we got from measuring, you put it right in front of you so that you can uh, base this foundation chain on this piece of yarn. We need to fold it in half like this and if your piece of yarn is a little bit wrinkled then you want to pick up the ends and give it a nice stretch like this so that it would be straighter. We're gonna use it to base the foundation chain on. So you keep going until the foundation chain is as long as this piece of yarn fold in half. So once you can see that the foundation chain is as long as this piece of yarn fold in half, then you know that it's good to go. Now we can put this away and move on to the first row. You will see in the written pattern that we're going to double crochet into the third chain. So one, two, three, this is the third chain. Place the first 
double crochet stitch right under this top loop of this third chain okay so under here right there okay now for a double crochet you're gonna first yarn over with a working yarn like so you can put the index finger right here so that it's easier to insert the hook insert the hook in the third chain like so and then with the working yarn you're gonna pull out a loop like so and you will now see that you have three loops on the hook and then with the working yarn yarn over and pull through two loops like so and to finish off you're gonna yarn over and pull through two loops and that is the very first double crochet you'll see right next to the double crochet it's a chain two and this chain two is there because we double crochet into the third chain right now let's repeat that double crochet into this next chain for a double crochet yarn over insert the hook in the next chain draw our loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops there you can see two double crochet now again with a working yarn yarn over insert the hook in the next chain right next to the one that we just did right insert the hook draw our loop three loops on the hook yarn over pull through two loops yarn over pull through two loops now you're going to repeat the exact same process all the way until we are closer to the end of this chain when you have about one or two chains left and i will meet you right there to show you what to do next okay I'm at the end of the chain and you can see that I have two chains left to work in. I will finish this next chain with a double crochet and then you will see in the rhythm pattern that we're gonna work three double crochet in this last chain, okay? So, one, two, and three. like so now we are going to flip the work and start putting double crochet into the next and each chain across so here you can see that this is the last chain that we put three double crochet in there one two three so we're not going to work in there anymore we're going to start double crocheting into this next chain under this double crochet that you see here okay so right in here okay Yarn over, insert the hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And that is how it should look like. Now moving on to the next one, this next stitch, we're gonna put a double crochet right here. Okay, yarn over, insert the hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. The next one would be this one, a double crochet in there. And then this next one, okay, okay, and then this next one, and then this next one. And repeat that until you go all the way closer to this chain 2 in the beginning, somewhere here. I'll meet you right there to show you what to do next. So here you can see that I'm closer to this chain 2 in the beginning. And I have 1, 2, 3 chains left to work in. And what you will see here is that this one has a double crochet. Also this chain 2. So we kind of already have two stitches into this chain. Remember how we work three double crochet in the 
last chain and we want the same thing in the other end so we have this double crochet in the third chain and this chain too we're gonna work just one more double crochet in this chain okay so I will work in here in here and one in here so a double crochet And then as I told you, only one more double crochet in this one, okay? Yarn over, insert the hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Okay. Next, we are going to slip stitch into the first double crochet. This is the chain two, the beginning chain, and this is the first double crochet. On top of that double crochet, you will see this V shape that you will see on every other double crochet. There's this V shape, right? We want to put the slip stitch right under that V shape on top of the first double crochet. So the first double crochet and the V on top of that is this one. And make sure that you don't mistake it with this chain too because they kind of shape like V's too. For a slip stitch, you want to insert a hook under the V on top of the first double crochet like so. With the working yarn, draw our loop. You will now see you have two loops on the hook. Now we're going to bring this loop through the first loop on the hook, this one. So bring it through the first loop like so. And you'll see that the slip stitch look like a V2. That's why we're going to need to close it up by pulling on the loop on the hook and the working yarn like so and you will see that V shape disappear and that's how we close the slip stitch up after we close up the slip stitch is where we want to switch yarn for the stripe pattern in case you want a plain hat you can wait for me right here with this loop on the hook and after I switch the yarn we will be at the same place again to switch yarn you will take the other color Put it on the hook and slide it through the slip on the hook of the previous yarn, like so. And then you want to pull on the previous yarn to close this loop up. So pull on it. Next, we are going to tie this tail of the new yarn together with this previous working yarn. Like so. And now you will have this loop of the new yarn to work with. With the previous yarn, you don't want to cut it off. We're just gonna hang it there so that we can pick it up in the next row when we need to switch color again. Now pick up the new yarn and fix the loop. Now follow the reading pattern. Before moving on to row two, we are going to chain two, like so. And turn the work from the right to the left Follow the reading pattern of row 2, you will see that we will double crochet into each stitch across all the way until the end of the round. And you can see here, we have this chain 2 in the beginning of the first row. And then on top of that is the chain 2 that we just did by the end of row 1. And then next to it is this first double crochet. You see? On top of the first double crochet, you will see a V shape. And that's where we want to insert the hook for the double crochet stitch. Now repeat the same process for a double crochet yarn over, insert the hook under a V on top of the double crochet. With the working yarn, draw our loop, three loops on the hook, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. And then the next stitch, this one, on top of that is a V, okay? So we yarn over, insert the hook under that V on top of the stitch, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. And again, into this stitch, yarn over, insert the hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. And then this next one, So you're going to repeat that same process until you are somewhere here. We're actually going to do the exact same thing, but I will meet you right there to show you how it's like, okay? Okay. 
So here I am and you will see that every stitches look the same. We're gonna still repeat the same process, but through this corner, it will kind of like making a turn. So I will do that with you just in case um, that seemed confusing to you. And then just find your stitch and insert the hook right under the V on top of it, like so. And then this next one, you see, we have three double crochet that we work in the last chain, this one. Now you can already fill the turn and you repeat the same process, double crochet into the next stitch, this one, okay, like so. And then to the next one. And then it's gonna be the same double crochet into each stitch all the way until the end and I will meet you here somewhere here to show you what to do next so now you can see that I have two stitches left and we can tell by looking on the top of the stitches and you see two V's left so let's finish both of them double crochet and double crochet Now before we move on, I would recommend you to count the number of stitches you have on this row. Counting everything including this chain 2 in the beginning, count as one stitch. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way around until this last stitch. And you want to write this number down so that you can keep track of this number and keep that number the same on the later rows so that the shape of the hat would turn down nice and even. Now if you see that the piece a little curl up like this instead of straight, this could happen with some types of yarn like mine here. All you need to do is stretch the last row out and if you see that it's straightened up, then everything's fine. Only when the foundation chain feel really stiff and it just won't stretch out together with the rows, then your foundation chain might be too tight. You may want to go back to the foundation chain and redo it, loosen up each chain loops a little bit so the chain will have more space for the stitches to move around. Now let's move on. We are by the end of this row. We just work a double crochet into this last stitch and follow the rhythm pattern. We are going to again slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row. So the, this is the chain two in the beginning. This is a double crochet. And on top of that double crochet, it's a V shape. You want to insert the hook right under that V. With the working yarn, draw our loop. Draw that same loop through the first loop on the hook. And then don't forget to tighten up the slip stitch. Close it up until it disappears like so. And then we're gonna switch back to the yarn of the first row. We simply pick it up, yarn over and bring it through this loop of the second row yarn then pull on this yarn to close the loop up and now we have this loop of the other yarn to work with we're going to chain two turn the work from the right to the left like so and then start double crochet into each stitch across you see on top of each stitch you will see a v and you want to insert the hook right under the V, okay? Yarn over, insert the hook, draw our loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. Now again, into this next stitch, and next stitch. Again and again, until you get to the end of this row, and I will meet you right there to show you one more time how to switch color. I'm at the end of this row and you can see I have three stitches left and I will do that one, two, and three. 
Now this is how it should look like and you may want to count the number of stitches you have on this row and compare it to the last row. Just make sure that you still have the right number of stitches without skipping any stitches or working more stitches than you need. So now we are going to slip stitch and switch color again. However, when you look on the other side, you will see this yarn that kind of stick out of the stitches. And that's because we pick up the color from the last row to work on the next row. What we want to do is to keep all of this switching color piece of yarn to be on one side of the hat. So to do that, you want to put this yarn to the same place where it should be. Like so, instead of like this, you want it to be like this. Now slip stitch into the first double crochet of the row next to this chain 2, insert the hook, with the working yarn, draw our loop, draw that same loop through the loop on the hook, tighten up the slip stitch, okay? Now, pick up the other color, draw our loop, pull on this yarn to close up the loop, chain 2, turn the work, and double crochet into each stitch across, all the way until the end, and we're going to repeat the exact same process all over again until the hat is long enough. And then I will meet you where you need to bind off to show you how to do that. I am at the end of this row where I feel like the beanie is long enough so I have one stitch left to work in and I'm going to do that and then I want to flip this one here before I um, join around with a slip stitch right join this round with a slip stitch just the same way we did before now to bind off you will need to pick up both of these yarns and then chain one with both of the yarns and then you will want to cut, leave a long enough tails so that we can weave it in later. Pull both of the yarns out and then fasten up. Alright, and that's how we bind off. I will have one fold like this. Right? Now I will show you how to weave this all these ends back into the piece with this yarn needle we have to carefully do this otherwise these ends might unravel by itself and then the stitches will open that's not what we want so let's start with this one you put it in the needle and then weave it into the stitches of the same color i've seen a lot of people weave this all these tails in a straight line and that is not very secure the trick is to weave it up and down right to the left or round and round and kind of twist it with the stitches let's just do that and you can kind of punch through the yarn of the stitches like so and then you want to stretch the piece out once in a while to reposition the tail in the fabric and then you can go to the right and then go to the left okay and then maybe go up a little in another stitch like so stretch the piece out and then maybe here and then down again like so oops oopsie and if your tail is too short what you can do is put the needle where you want to put the tail first 
and then put the tail back into the needle and then pull and don't forget to stretch the piece out do it a few more times okay so when you feel like it's good enough we can just cut it off like so stretch the piece out and that's it let's do the same thing to all of these ants and we are done Thank you.